fermentation process, yeast ferments the sugar made from the starch. This process releases carbon dioxide gas, or CO2. It can be released into the atmosphere, but it's commonly captured and purified with a scrubber so that it can be used elsewhere. Let's learn about uses for CO2. One of the cool things we can use the CO2 for is putting the bubbles in your soda pop. This is called carbonation. When you open the bottle or can, the pressure is reduced, the carbon dioxide is released from the soda solution as small bubbles, and it causes the pop to fizz. CO2 is also used to create dry ice. Dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. It's really cool. Negative 109.3 degrees. That's 109.3 degrees below zero. Because it's so cold, dry ice is great for keeping things frozen. Dry ice goes directly from a solid to a gas sublimation in normal conditions. And that's why it's called dry ice. In chapter five, we'll learn more about the next stage of the ethanol process, distillation.